since summer hit where I live, I've been doing a lot more traveling. And so I just wanted to go through what I think is the ultimate Lumix travel setup and just wanted to show you everything that I carry with me. Now, if you're interested in Lumix cameras, Lumix setups, Lumix rigs, Make sure you hit that subscribe button because I've got a lot more content on the channel about Lumix cameras. Also, I'll have everything linked down in the description if it's something that you're interested in that you want to add to your travel kit as well. And those will be affiliate links. And if you use those links, that totally helps support this channel, which I really do appreciate. First of all, I'm using the Biggie Size Peter McKinnon Bag by Nomadic. And this thing is heavy duty. It's almost heavy by itself, but once you put everything in here, it's super heavy. So if you're doing a lot of like walking, hiking, this might not be the best bag for you because it has all of these components that you feel like you have to fill up. And then you're gonna end up bringing too much stuff with you. But what I'm doing with my traveling this summer, I'm in a van in a car a lot traveling. So I'm not like walking through airports or things like that. So I have the ability to put this bag down so I can fill it up full and I know that I don't have to have it on my back all the time. So a couple of things first, I don't have this front pocket filled, but normally I would probably put some clothes in this front pocket, it expands, but I do have have the Ninja 5 in here. But I would put some clothes in here for an overnight, like at an Airbnb or a hotel. Another great thing about this is the computer pocket back here by your back. You know it's protected. Another thing about this bag is you have a quick side pocket that you can unzip and pull out your camera real quick if you need to access it really fast and not set it down and open up the whole back panel. All right, so when I'm doing my traveling this summer, here's everything that I carry with me. Let me get this unzipped and open it up. Before I get to all this stuff, let's just go through what I have in these little pockets here. And this is gonna be my media storage container right here. So I've got the SSD drive that I would record to the S52X. I got my project drive that I edit off of, which is an M2 drive. And then I also have an SD card holder in there. And then if I am recording, to the Ninja 5. I have a little dongle that I can transfer files from. And then I've got my battery compartment and a multi-tool. A multi-tool. Always have a multi-tool with you because you never know when you're going to need it. Now this probably should be in the media storage, but this is the drive for the Ninja 5. Let's just toss that in there. First of all, thanks to Lumix. They're letting me use the S5 II. And on the S5 II, I have the Sigma 16-28 to f2.8. And this is a great lens for if you're going to do any type of vlogging on the Lumix S5 or if you just need a quick everyday lens, it's lightweight and you're gonna be able to make a ton of content with this lens. And then I've got a Freewell variable ND filter. It's a magnetic filter there on the end of the Sigma 16 to 28. The next camera that I'm gonna carry with me is the Lumix S52X. Thanks to Lumix, they're letting me use the X version of the S52. And on that camera, I've got the Sigma 24 to 70 f2.8. And this is a heavy lens, so it's a great everyday lens, but it's a heavy lens, and so it's gonna add a lot of weight to your travel pack. I'm not hiking around with this. This is basically just to transport all of my gear from point A to point B. But this lens is something special. It's a great everyday lens, and I wanna bring along the S52X because I have that USB recording. But then if I find myself in a situation where I wanna record raw through HDMI, I can do that as well. I have the S52X with me that I can totally rely on for that high spec shooting. I also wanna carry a big telephoto lens, and this is the Panasonic, the Lumix version, the F4 version of the 70 to 200 millimeter. I love that everything is internal, you don't, it doesn't pop out at the end of the lens when you adjust focal length. It's got this little clutch here for focus, autofocus. It is a stabilized lens. So if you have this on your S52 or S52X, you're gonna have that dual IBIS. Now, one of the things I like doing is carrying a prime lens with me and my favorite focal length is the 50 millimeters. So this Lumix S series F1.8 is a great lightweight lens to carry with you. And if you have not used these S series lenses, I highly recommend using them because they are fantastic lenses. Now I could probably get rid of a lot of weight and carry probably the, the 18 millimeter through the 85 millimeter, these S series lenses, but I kind of like the versatility that 
having these different focal lengths, these variable focal length lenses brings. But I like at least having one prime lens with me because they're usually a little bit faster and you can really blow out that background if you need to. Then in this pocket right here, I've got some other variable NDs like this Freewell magnetic ND I will use on the Sigma 24 to 70 and the Panasonic 70 to 200. This is the Moment Cinebloom at 20%. It is a very heavy bloom. And then I've got some Freewell filters for the Mavic Mini 3 Pro. And the Mavic Mini 3 Pro is a great lightweight lens. I mean, seriously, the size of a cell phone. It's not very, it's not very big. And right now I'm not putting drone footage in my YouTube videos, but maybe in the future here, I'll be able to put some drone footage in my YouTube videos and then the controller with the screen on it. I don't know the official name for it, but it's great having the screen built in and not having to use your phone to get the screen. I love this controller. This I think it's the RC, RC Pro, RC controller, something like that. Some extra batteries for the drone, um, some extra batteries for the Ninja 5 that you wanna carry along with you, HDMI cord, for the Ninja 5. I like carrying a GoPro. This is the Hero Black 11. Um, so a lot of times these are good for time lapses. And this is obviously good for situations where, you know, like for example, my son and I were doing a demolition on a bathroom and we use this for a time lapse because I didn't want to get all the dust and everything over the nice cameras. You can toss a GoPro in there and you're not gonna have to worry about it. USB-C cable for charging all of this stuff. And then I'm carrying the Hollyland Lark 150. And this is a dual mic setup that is actually really great. It's a great dual mic setup that I think they're still selling. I still think they sell the Lark 150. But if you're looking for a good dual mic setup, the Hollyland Lark 150 is a great setup. Well, this is really everything that I'm carrying with me as I, you know, travel throughout the summer. But as I travel, that also leads to some inconsistency in the content that I release. But as always, I appreciate you watching. And if you want to see how I set up my S52 and S52X for video, make sure you check out this video that's popping up on your screen right here. But I go through all my settings that you can copy, use those to get the best video out of your S52 or S52X.